John Jones. Yes. Love him, hate him, you know, indifferent. Uh, do you look at him, you know, as the person John Jones when in reflection to them as a fighter? Or is the person and the competitor two different people to you? Uh, let's start with, you know, how, how do you view John Jones, I guess, just from an overall perspective? Uh, John Jones, to me, is, is a is one of the greatest fighters, if not arguably the greatest fighter that UFC has ever seen. Um, his uh, outside of the ring antics, obviously, are a little wild. Um, but I think, you know, me in sports, we can separate that. I, I I, I don't think we should be looking at sports figures as as, as role models, right? Uh, I don't think that's necessary. I think it's, you know what I mean? Like, no one's looking at me outside of my job going, oh, he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's a, a degenerate gambler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> They, I, I don't think that I don't think the two coincide. Um, what you do at work and what you do at home are two separate things, um, and so I, I don't think that has anything to do with his legacy um, and, and what he's been able to put together as being pound for pound one of the greatest fighters who ever fought. Now, what is a problem for me is that I haven't seen him in over a year. Um, and I think even his fight previous to his last fight was a two or three year layoff as well. Um, so you, you got to be active. Um, I don't know what's going on outside of, of the, the cage that's keeping him inactive. Um, I haven't seen any news or anything like that on it. Um, Most recently, it's an injury. It's the shoulder injury? Yeah, like pectoral short shoulder. Mm, okay. Pectoral. But... I don't know. I just don't think it warrants because he hasn't fought since uh, I think it's March of the last year. Does it warrant that kind of a layoff? Um, what is that? Can we do the math? Was it a 15 month layoff? Oh, no, 17 month layoff. I don't think it warrants that. And it's probably going to be longer because obviously he's not scheduled for any fight cards in September, October. Um, you're saying that there's a possibility that they might fight in November or, or he might fight in November, but it just seems that's my biggest issue with John Jones, the fighter. I, I think after that much of a layoff, you're, you're no longer the champion. Um, unfortunately, uh, when he walks back in the cage, does he get a title shot? Of course he does. He's John Jones. Like everyone wants to see that. No one would turn down that fight by any means. So you're saying then that. You consider Tom Aspinall the true heavyweight champion of the division? Tom Aspinall, Aspinall is definitely the true heavyweight champion of the division. Uh, John Jones is the number one contender at this point and just hasn't been laid off for that long. Um, I disagree, but I respect I, it. Do I believe if they t the two get into the ring that John Jones wins or loses? I believe he wins. But you don't get just to hold the crown and not do anything. Even if, even injury, all that injury, yeah, of course. But we're talking again. We're talking about a, a seventeen month layoff. We're probably I, I, will go to believe that we're not going to see him for a two. Year, you know what I mean? I don't think he's going to fight this year. Really, I don't think it's going to happen. I just say you know, John Jones is uh, greatest of all time. I've seen him live a couple of times, and uh, at the end of the day. Um, whether or not he decides to face Tom Aspinall after this fight with Steve Bay and whether this fight with Steve Bay takes place this year or next year, <clears throat> to me, he's the true heavyweight champion. And um, I, I, I don't know why Dana, you know, is going so hard about him being the, the, the current pound for pound champion. But, uh, I also can understand it too, especially from his side, you know, being that, you know, this is uh, his investment, you know, he's the, who uh, John Jones is still, you know, netting him, you know, money all these years later and he beat Shogun Hua for the title. So, I mean, like, Hey, 
uh, I just I just don't think there's a lot you can say about him. Um, him as a person, yeah, like <laughs> you know, homeboy is flawed. You know, just like anybody else. That you know, like you said, there's there's cats who've done some wild shit. You know, uh, as athletes, you know, with you've got to be a different, different kind of that. person to be punching people in the face for a living and to be receiving punches to the face for a living. Yeah, you know, I mean, once again, you can bring up Connor. You can bring up athletes from different, you know, sports, football, basketball, you name it. You know, we've had our fair share of characters. That's fast forward to November. They book a card with John Jones and Tom Aspinall. Who do you bet on? I'm betting on John Jones. Hands down, value, no matter what. Because it's probably the value is going to fucking be there. And at the end of the day, like, John you Jones don't have, knows how to win. He really just needs to not. Wait, 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 wait. Clipped. So you're telling me, fast forward to November, they booked the fight, that's what's going to happen, that John Jones is going to come in as a dog? Fuck yeah. Ah, that's crazy to me. I just don't see it. I oh, see definitely. A, I can see a near even. Oh, bruh. Bruh. That's, that's a, I'm 110% sure. Give me a number. Give me a, give me a plus whatever. He'll be like a plus between anywhere between like one... 80 and and uh three depending on like yeah that's crazy to me yeah no for sure bro because no I'm, I'm telling you like people are basically already like this isn't people calling for this fight because they think that this is like a fair fight mm -hmm. they're calling for it because it's what's fair so I, I'm telling that's you, crazy. bro. I'm that is telling crazy. you. Okay, so do you? I I think Dana, you mean, is gonna see if he wants. If he's like, oh, we're only gonna do the Stepe fight. Like John Jones, you know what I mean? Puts his foot down, and says, I'm only fighting Stepe. I don't think Dana turns that down, right? He's just John Jones being in the ring is as a draw. Uh, but do you think he attempts to pressure him into fighting Aspinall? Oh yeah, I mean he's already he's already on that. He's already kind of like, you know, on that tip where he's like, I think John will fight Aspinall. I think the and the way he's saying it is basically I'm not gonna pressure him. Like right now, we're gonna do this fight because this one was what it is, and and because I respect these two gentlemen and they deserve their mm -hmm. just due as legends of this sport. I'm gonna give them their just due. Mm-hmm. And if he decides he wants to retire, so be it. That's why we have our interim champion right here. Mm -hmm. Or it's like, there is a chance. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'll probably be the one to at least say, hey, here's a fucking bag of money. <laughs> is this enough? And if Jones says, no, nah, I'm going to need a bigger bag of money, we're going to go back and maybe negotiate possibly bringing him back another big bag of money or we're gonna be fine with you know what this is okay he can fucking dip we got our guy here yeah and then everybody's gonna say you know the what if of him and Aspinall fighting it what okay let's say this fucking uh John Joe goes out there fucking uh taps Aspinall quick mm -hmm. makes quick work of him now what do you got left? Let this nigga fight fucking Stipe, pass the torch, and let Aspinall do his thing. Don't friggin' uh, put this situation to where you literally flush a whole legacy down the drain with John Jones looking fucked up at the end of his career with all this that you invested into this man's career, uh, or don't fuck up your fucking young prospect that you could probably still make a few more bucks off of. You know, you can put him up against fucking uh, Pereira. I don't think you fuck up John Jones. I mean, of course, everybody wants to leave with that that with great record. I know we technically perfect record. Um, and so, like, I don't think you fuck up his legacy, right? Like, no one doesn't wear Jordans, even though he played for the Wizards, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think 
that John Jones should be fighting Stipe. I think Stipe's career ended when Ngannou fucking put him down. Oh, so you and don't so, think Stipe should fight either? Mm-mm. You just don't want to see John Jones fight, bro. I don't like it. You know what I mean? Bro, I, get I think it. that John Jones was only going up to heavyweight to face Ngannou. And then shit with Ngannou because he, same shit with him. I think his whole thing was is if I got to face John Jones at heavyweight, why like, me getting my ass beat needs to be worth it. <laughs> and he wasn't, they weren't willing to make it worth his while, so he fucking left. And then so John Jones is like, well, shit, bro, I've been sitting here gaining all this weight. I got to fucking fight somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick off fucking your, you know, guy here with gun. Because I know I, you know, like, like this, this fool is, this is the challenge for me. Boom. And then it's like, Stipe's there. Like, why? Why is he here? Like, I no one. I don't think, like, that's the thing is, like, really, no one even really wants this fight. So they're like, since you want to fight as the champion, then you need to fight Tom Aspinall. It's like, no, bro, like, you should just call this all together. <laughs> you know? Because, yeah, like, he's, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Kind of rambled on. Because now yeah. I, I, I feel, I feel, I, I feel both ways, bro. He should fight Aspinall, but I know what that really is. It's not a... <laughs> Not what it's supposed to be. I think it's funny because you you feel that way about it, but you're like, I'm gonna bet on him. <laughs> and just I don't know, man. It just feels like the right the the fights that were supposed to happen fell out, and now it's just you're kind of like trying to glue shit together. And I think that really the best the best possible outcome being that these certain things, you know being based specifically Jones versus Ngannou fell out. Cool. Jones versus Stipe. Get him out of there, you know, and then we can we can really move on with what the the with what with what our actual landscape is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like we should wrap it though. Yeah. I feel like we kinda we're running over the same points a little bit. No, for sure. For sure. But uh very interesting. I have definitely have some new newer takes on the whole the whole thing. Um, I think I'm more confused than ever now. <laughs> it's all good. Hey. But yeah, give us your thoughts. 